this tapestry here. Okay, so it's on the top of Welcome to Commentary. I am your host Ari, you might know me from other visual novels, and today we are starting the game My Forge Wedding. Um, it's another game of the Love 365 um, Find Your Story uh, franchise. It's a port to Switch, uh, please support it if you like it. We're gonna take a look at it today and um, and we have looked at some of those already. Usually I uh, play through the prologue and maybe a few stories like in just, just to see, skipping through a lot of things, not really reading all of it, just like bits and pieces. But this time I started the prologue just now. <laughs> and from what I saw, I really just, I, I, I tried to skip through most of it. But like, I just I just wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to give raw reactions this time. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know and we're st gonna start now. Um, sorry, I don't know if, if it, yeah, I didn't even save my name. Um, no, I'm not one. <laughs> Give me a second. Sorry, uh, sometimes my controllers might be a bit wonky, but yeah, it's a work of fiction, yada yada. Um, also, at the beginning, it always says it saves, like auto saves. That's a lie. That's a lie. Voltage. I'm sorry, but my autosaves never work in these games. Just wanted to see how I took that out of my system. Um, yeah, again, if the, like, if you like this game, please support it. Buy it like in the App Store, uh, Love 365, find your story, or on Switch, so that we can have more of these stories. Um, I do not want to like butcher sales with like recording this. I just want to like give people a chance to look at it and see if they like it. And also I want to record my reaction because it's hilarious to me. Anyhow, um, apparently I arrived in Tokyo. <laughs> As I said, I, just, I skipped through most of it. So, this is Tokyo. With my luggage... Oh my god, wait. I forgot. Yeah, also I need to change this. Oh, wait, did I forget? Sorry about that. Um, fast, fast, yes, now we're happy, all right, with my luggage in hand I step off the train, there were skyscrapers and throngs of people all around, my first sight of the city was overwhelming, I thought that Kyushu was similar, uh, similarly an urban area, but it's nothing compared to Tokyo. Am I really going to be able to live here? Um, when I thought of the future I was to face, I got a little nervous. You don't, you probably don't even know. I mean, I don't know because I didn't play the prologue, but I think we don't even know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't think we don't know that we will get into an arranged, like, forged, whatever, makeshift marriage, fake marriage, whatever. But I guess the game is gonna complain, uh, gonna explain it. Uh, but circumstances made me come here and I can't turn back now. First, I have to call the un uh, Uncle Kunihiko. I took out the note I received from mom. Wait, my mom is in on this plot? Uncle Kunihiko, there's a typo, is my relative. According to mom, he's the president of a large company here in Tokyo. I had graduated, graduated from college but failed to find a job. Without any other connections or prospects, I came to Tokyo hoping that Uncle could help. He did not understand that as a job, I think. The last time I saw him was during my cousin's wedding. Oh no. Wait, is that his fa Wait. <gasps> is Kunihiko actually like hitching off people? Is that like his job? Is that his company? Like he just sets up bachelors, rich bachelors that need a wife or something? That would be so funny. Let's see, it was about 10 years 
you know, that's a lot of time. I might not recognize him. He must be sophisticated because he's the president of one of those tech companies that is hot right now. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Perhaps he wears an expensive suit, looking professional. As I imagine how my uncle would look now, I called the number mom gave me. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello, it's Ariana. Ariana. Ariana from Kyushu? Oh, Ariana. Uncle's voice brightened up. For the president of a company, he's pretty friendly and easy to talk to. I eased up and relaxed a bit. I have arrived at the station. Can I head over now? Oh, actually, can you pick up some things for me at the store? At the store? I'll email you a list right now. So, can you stop by the supermarket on the way and buy those items? Uh, sure, I mean I'm broke because I don't have a job, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Click. He hung up. After a few seconds, I receive an email. Fenu Greek Nigelasid Cardamom. Oh, okay, Cardamom is a spice. What are all these? The list looked like grocery. Uh, right, like, wait, look, cooking ingredients. How do I. Oh, whatever. But there were no other notes. Without knowing what I was supposed to buy, I headed towards the nearest supermarket. What a fancy market. It's nothing like the markets back at home. I wonder whether something Greek would be. I headed towards the produce section and wandered around. I bumped shoulders with a man I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yikes, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't seem friendly, but maybe I should ask him. Yeah, that, that's the first tidbit that I got. And I was like, okay, that's gonna be something. Um, do you know where I can find something Greek? Something Greek? Um, Finno-Greek? I read the email I received from Uncle. The man gave me an exasperated look. That's a spice. You're in the wrong section. Oh, fenugreek is a spice. You don't know what you're buying? Weirdo. Excuse me? And the spice section is over there. The man walked briskly. I quickly followed his steps. What kind of person calls a stranger weirdo? I mean, it's not that bad. But I guess most people wouldn't walk me over. Yeah, that's true. He might be blunt, but he must be a good person since he's helping me. Yeah, that's why I thought too. I mean, I only brushed through this, I didn't read all of it, but my first impression of him was really good. Imported spices should be on this uh, dish shelf. Oh, he even knows it's important. Imported, interesting. A fenugreek. Oh, here it is. I finally found the item I was looking for, but it was on the top shelf and I couldn't reach it. Oh, um, jeez, you need help with everything. The man sighed as he reached for the bottle. What else? Huh? What else are you buying? You have a list on your email, right? Oh, right. Um, this, and actually this was where I, where I thought, like, this might be something that I should record pretty, pretty early on. Cause like, this guy is pretty nice. This, I, don't, I want my raw reactions on this episode. But I immediately turned it off at a later point. I just brushed through this. <laughs> anyway, he's really nice, is what I'm saying. Show it to me. The man looked at my phone. His face was almost close enough to touch mine. Oh, sorry. Oh wow, he's actually pretty decent. Huh? I have poor eyesight. Oh, I see, I do too. Fenugreek, Nigella seed, cardamom, they're all in this aisle. I knew it, cardamom is a, is a spice too. Oh, ignoring my surprise expression, the man started tossing the items on, uh, on the list into my basket. Wait, that means he can't cook probably. I got everything I needed to get. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, yeah. 
he doesn't even make a de big deal of, out of it, right? Like he just helped the stranger for nothing. He, he has no nothing to gain from this. Come on. I thought these were vegetable names. I didn't know they were spices. <laughs> you don't know the difference between vegetables and spices? Oh come on, they're not that common. These are not common spices. Excuse me? I feel sorry for the guy who ends up marrying you. The man mocked me before turning around and walking away. How rude, just because I didn't know the names of the spices. I mean, that's, that's true, but he was pretty nice all around. I wouldn't want to marry a rude man like that. Oh, you just wait. I might actually pick him. <laughs> I took the basket and headed towards the cashier. According to the map, it should be this way. I walked from the market to uncle's house. I was expecting a res residential neighborhood, but I was walking towards Azabu Juban, the shopping district. And they call it a shopping district, but it's nothing like what I'm used to. It's a high-end and fashionable place. Do they have residences here? A man standing in front of a display window caught my eye. Inside the display were gorgeous wedding dresses. Right on topic, huh? The man stood still as he stared at the dresses. I could tell from his side profile that he was handsome. I wonder if he's getting married soon. Who's the lucky woman getting married to a cute guy like that? I don't know, he looked kind of annoyed. She must be pretty too. The man turned around as if he noticed staring me staring at him. I didn't have time to look away, and our eyes met. What are you looking at? Um, nothing. I quickly looked down and walked away. <laughs> the man stared at me as I kept walking. So he's a quiet type, huh? Is he still staring at me? He must have thought I was strange. But he had pretty colored eyes. They were... Were they color contacts? Or maybe he's biracial? And those were beautiful wedding dresses. I want to wear one someday. But I need to look for a job before I get married. Oh, just you wait, girl. A different thought crossed my mind and I headed towards uncle's house. Oh yeah. Long Island, named after the island in New York. I arrived at the address I've been looking for. But it wasn't a house, but a sports bar called Long Island. He can't possibly live here. Do I have the wrong address? I looked around, but I didn't see any residences nearby. As I was looking lost, someone sp uh, spoke behind me. You're not going inside. Huh? I turned around and a man with large eyes was standing behind me. Um, he doesn't really have large eyes. Am I seeing it wrong? He looked at me with a friendly and approachable smile. That's true at least. Aren't you going in? The bar should be open now. Yeah, but I think I'm at the wrong place. I see. Where did you want to go? I came to see Kunihiko Aikawa? But I think I have the wrong address. <laughs> You're looking for Kuni? He's probably inside. Kuni? You know my uncle? Uncle? He seems young to have a niece your age. Oh, he's not really my uncle. It doesn't matter. We'll talk inside. Come on in. The man cheerfully opened the door for me. I entered the bar, pushed along by his enthusiasm. I mean, he seems nice. Wow, what a fancy bar. There's a huge TV. It's a sports bar, right? I've never gone to bars like this, so naturally, sorry. I looked around in awe. The man who let me uh, in yelled towards the back of the bar. Okay. Hey, Kuni, there's someone here to see you. Someone? Oh, someone. A man stuck his head out from the counter and became and beamed brightly as soon as he saw me. 
Are you Ariana? Uncle Konihiko? I knew it was you, Ariana. It's nice to see you. Oh, you know each other. I mean, that's what I said. <laughs> She's my distant relative. She came from Kyushu. Oh, so that's what she meant by uncle. You must be tired. Why don't you have a seat? At uncle's urging, I sat down at the counter. Uncle was dressed awfully casual. He was wearing a hat and a shirt and flip-flops. Flip -flop. Okay. This is Uncle Konihiko. I don't remember him like this. Did you buy what I asked you to? Oh yes, here. Thanks. We ran out of these. Oh, I owe you big time. Is this bar your company, Uncle? Oh, no, my company is different from this. Uncle explained as he put the items I brought on the shelves. I have my employees run the company. And this bar is my hobby. A uh, sports bar. Isn't it fun to watch sports with lots of people? So I thought, why not open a sports bar? He says lots of people, um, but it's only a few regulars. Probably all the guys, all the bachelors in this game, right? <laughs> It doesn't matter. I'm running this bar as a hobby. Uncle looked and acted like a slacker. He couldn't imagine him running a company. Is he really the president of his own company? Well, there are many different kind of leaders. I suddenly felt a little uneasy. In the middle of a bar was a large. Uh, in the middle of the bar was a large TV screen. The news report began. In today's news, the booming tech, com tech company Aikawa.com uh, purchased a major overseas software company. There's a clip from the press conference, conference held by the CEO. The screen switched to a video footage. In front of a large crowd of media was Uncle Konihiko. Okay, so the game wanted to actually make me believe that, yeah, he is really the CEO. Thank you for joining us today. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Aikawa.com, uh, Ai, mm, Aikawa. Aikawa. I am here today to announce the agreement uh, to purchase... No way! <laughs> I look good on TV. He looked respectable in a suit, so it's different from how he looks now. Kuni, you look like the president of that company. I not just look like, I am the president. I heard about Aikawa.com, uh, but I was look when I was looking for work in college. They developed software and systems which took off really well. Their revenue and employee numbers had doubled and they were growing rapidly. I can't believe he's the president of that company. You really can't ju judge a book by its cover. So, Ariana, I heard you haven't found employment yet. Yes, that's true. I've been looking for uh, work since I graduated from college. It's a tough market right now. Bad, bad economy. Yeah, my sale, sale pitches were re rejected too. What do you sell? Oh, I'm a comedian. Have you heard of the duo name Fukumimi? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with it. Don't worry, we're still starting out. I'm Yuta uh, Kajima. I'm the Sukuyomi half of... Uh, Tsukumimi, okay. Tsukomi, okay, whatever that means. Just remember our name, okay? Yuta-kun uh, grabbed my hand and started shaking it roughly. No wonder he's so friendly, he's a comedian. You didn't expect, expect to meet a comedian as soon as you got to Tokyo, didn't you? <laughs> no, never my widest imagination. That's what meeting by chance is all about. Anyway, sorry for the short notice. But there are a few people I'd like you to meet, Ariana. Huh? Over there. Yeah. And this is kind of where I decided that I should, that I should actually um, 
record this because this is getting really weird really fast i only got a few sentences in but i was like what the hell is going on i need to record this i looked into the direction uncle was pointing and saw two men walking into my oh it's just two okay i thought it was more uncle beckoned them to come and they walked towards us they have a certain air to them they look successful okay that's not so beautiful okay this is a job interview I can get uh, gets things moving moving really quick. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Taco Mariyama. Mar One of the two, who was wearing a nice suit, handed me his business card. The card had the name of a large law firm. You're a lawyer, Mr. Mariyama. Oh, there's no need for formalities. You can call me by my first name. And that's why I got suspicious, because this game is called Forge Wedding, and he does not want, like, this is the first red flag, right? <laughs> if I'm looking for a job interview and he, okay, I mean, this this is still okay, but the next thing. Okay, Takao. <laughs> that's fine, it's a pleasure meeting you. Takao bowed politely. He's so polite, yet casual, you know what I mean? Ariana, I understand you're from Kyoto. Did you go to college there as well? Yes, I lived in Kyoto all my life. What did you start in study in college? Um, the job interview has already started. But I wonder I can, if I can work at a law firm. I decided to tell my worries in earnest. Um, may I ask you a question? Oh, certainly. I've only taken a few introductory courses on law in college. Is that okay? <laughs> you don't need to be familiar with the law. We're looking for someone with a friendly smile. Friendly smile? That was the second red flag, and that's kind of where I stopped, because I was like, he, is he looking, he's looking for a wife, right? Like, he's not looking for an employee. That's why he's calling me by my first name and being like, but like a fake marriage thingy, because he's still really polite. But he wants to know me. I don't know. I, it's just my gut feeling. We will see where this goes. I'm sure you will do just fine. A friendly smile is important. Is this a receptionist job? I don't think so. Uh, how will I uh, make this for it? Um, I guess it's my turn now. The other man who was wearing a white shirt stepped forward. I'm Takamasi Saiki. I work in the entertainment industry. Sorry, but I'm uh, I'm all out. Hmm? But I'm all wait. Sorry, but I'm out of all my cards to cards today. I've been working in this field for years, and I've built quite a name for myself. Entertainment industry. He looks like it. He's dressed well. He only has a plain shirt. What do you mean? And it's good looking. I don't know much about Uncle. Uh, how. Much, wait, I don't know how much uncle could help me, but this is great. Mr. Saiki smiled and looked at me. I've been looking for someone like you. Oh, what would I be doing? I want you to support me. Support? My job keeps me up day and night. I need someone who can stay by my side and support my work. I see. Like a personal assistant? <laughs> no more. And I want you to be my toy. Huh? Mr. Saiki whispered something that I could barely hear. I thought I heard toy. Well, I've introduced you to two of them so far. Oh my god. Uncle stammered as he cut into our introductions. <laughs> and the others. Sorry, I'm late. The door swung open and it's him. Um, I love it. <laughs> and someone walked in briskly. He always walks briskly. I could glare at him sternly. You're late, Yamato. I told you to be on time. I had to help a weird girl in the market, so I couldn't get my things done and... You're the man from earlier. Huh? The man looked at my face and his jaw dropped in surprise. You're the one from the market. It was the same man I met at the Yeah, we, we noticed. Oh, you two have already met. Uncle asked as the man stared at my face for a long time. 
Bakuni is that the... Yeah, she's my distant relative. You gotta be kidding me. Did he just sigh? I don't want to be interviewed by someone so rude. I decided to tell Uncle how I felt. Uncle, I don't think... You don't think what? I don't think we'd get along. I don't think it would work out. What do you mean? Ariana, do you understand your position here? What? You're looking for a job, aren't you? Yeah... Vegas can't be true with this. You have to take every opportunity you get. Mm. Frank is right. Even if I don't like him, he might end up as my boss. I guess I need to apologize. I took a deep breath and apologized. I'm sorry if I offended you earlier. I think I said some offensive things too. Oh wow, he actually apologized back. Oh. Okay, so what did he say? I'm gonna redo that. I think I said some offensive things too. What is that a Jew who wasn't apologetic at all? What's your name? Huh? I didn't get your name, what is it? I'm Ariana, a video game girl. Um, I'm from Kyoshu and I'm Yamato Kogami, that's it. Um, what would I be doing for you? I guess a serving tea, that's it. Serving tea? An admi administrative assistant position? I wonder what type of work what type of work Yamato san does. And there's one more. Uncle looked around the bar. And the door opened slowly and a slender man slaunted in all the There you are, Ren. Yeah. We've been waiting for you <clears throat> We've been waiting for you, Ren. Yeah. <laughs> You're late. You should have called if you're running late. Yeah. <laughs> He's only said yeah this whole time. Sorry, Ariana. He's a little shy around strangers. Uncle introduced us. He's Ren uh, Shibazaki. He doesn't say much. He has a great, um, but he has a great work ethic. He's uh, researching a new drug and. Hmm? Isn't he the man I met earlier? He was the person who was looking at wedding dresses through the store window. I didn't know he was friends with Uncle either. Um, I think we met earlier. Huh? <laughs> Weren't you looking at the wedding dresses on the way here? No. <laughs> but you were standing in front of the store window. There was an unusual indoor plant. In your plant. Oh, he was looking at the dresses. Ren, come here. Why don't you sit next to Ariana? No, it's okay. I got it. I don't understand him at all. But I can see him doing research. He seems so focused on things. And that's everyone. Hey, wait. I'm one of uh, the potential employers too. Huh? It's no coincidence that I'm here at this bar. I came out for the same reason as everyone else. It appeared that Yuta was another person, person giving me a job interview. But a job interview with a comedian? Do I have to be his partner? And he said he's the Tsuku, uh, Tsukomi. Uh, does that mean I'm the Boke? Wait, what? Just because, just because I couldn't find a job doesn't mean I can do something completely different. Um, excuse me? Yes. I don't think I can write jokes. You don't have to worry about that. It's just, uh, you just have to stand next to me. So it does mean he wants me as a partner. That's not the kind of partner he wants. Okay, now we got everyone. Gather around, guys. All the men gathered around and started whispering. So, what do you think? She's cute, I like her. She looks like she should be attentive and trustworthy. She may look trustworthy, but I bet she has a perverted side too. 
And don't you think don't you think she seems stubborn? She might be a difficult one to work with. I don't care. I'm right here. I can hear all of them. I locked eyes with my uncle. He laughed lightheartedly to ease the set the tension. <laughs> it's no laughing matter. What's going on here? Who are these people? Oh, I didn't tell you. They're all members of a local baseball team. Baseball team? I don't think so. Yeah, and we've all known each other since we were kids. We were all part of the same junior team. We work in different fields, but all of us still live in the same area. And we still play baseball from time to time too. And I'm the coach. I'm holding the group together, can't you tell? Wait, I thought they were all your work acquaintances, uncle. Huh? Why? Because isn't that a job interview? <laughs> nope, I didn't say that, did I? But I thought they were people uncle work. I mean, he said it should take the job. What the hell? This is a work interview then. But why was he having me meet these, uh, these members of his baseball team? I'll find you a job, but in return, I have a favor to ask you. A favor? Each of these guys has a problem they need help with. And the only one who can help them is you, Ariana. So I want you to help them with their problem. All of them? No, just one. In fact, you can only help one. I can only have one? Why? I wanted to know what favor Uncle needed me to do. So what favor? Wow. <laughs> it's, um... That the five gave a worried look to Uncle. One person was dropping their hands nervously and another swallowed hard. Oh, they're getting really nervous now? That's kinda cute. I can't tell you just yet. What? It's a really tough matter. I can't tell you until you accept the favor. I can't accept something I don't know anything about. I understand that, but I need you to just accept it. I can't. Really? No way. I stood fast face to face with Uncle, neither of us saying a word. Uncle finally spoke up. Ariana... I wouldn't ask you to do anything weird, alright? It's a difficult task, but I believe you can do it. And I've known these guys since we were kids. If they had a problem with uh, they have to deal with, I want to help them. But I can't do anything for them. We need your help, Ariana. My help? I looked at the five men. They were standing there with hopeful looks in their eyes. When I couldn't find a job, I felt like no one saw a need in me. But now everybody here needs me. If I accept, you're going to help me get a job, right? Of course. I'll do everything to find a job that's perfect for you, Ariana. If that's the case, then... You'll accept? <sighs> yes, if it's something I can help with. The five men cheered. Great, then let me tell you each of their personalities. Firstly, there's Yamato. Me? He's rude and mean, you might not get along with him at first. But deep down, he's a kind and warm-hearted. He's, wait, he's, he's a kind, he's kind and warm-hearted. Yeah, I could tell. He'll make uh, quips, but he'll take care of you. He'll take care of you no matter what. Once he takes you under his wings, you, he will never betray you. That's the man he is. I didn't like the first half of that. And for Saiki... Mr. Saiki looked over towards me sex sexless. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Because of his work, he may seem frivolous at, at times, but he can be an earnest man. But he is an earnest man, sorry. He will show a... Show a he will show a love to those who are close to him. He will respect you, who you are, and treat you like a lady. I don't think so. There are some things only women can do. And Ren, you can tell that he is quiet and aloof. But the flip side to that is that he's sincere and won't say more than what's needed. 
You may find him difficult to communicate with him at, uh, with at first. But once you feel him co uh, feel comfortable with each other, I'm sure you will feel at home with him. I don't like to be mindful of others. And as for Takao, I think Takao can speak for himself actually. Mr. Maoyama let out a gentle smile. Wait, let out a smile? Okay. He's a really sweet guy. He's generous and a guy you can count on. Yeah, I like that. He would embrace you and make you feel at ease. At least if you're on time. I think he's really strict too. I think you're exaggerating, but I won't do anything to upset you, Ariana. And finally, Yuta. That's me! As you can see, Yuta is cheerful and lively. Just being with him should make you feel day and night. Uh, should, should make you happy day and night. He may seem wanton, but he's actually sensitive and considerate. He's good at sensing how others feel. You will have a great time being with him. I'm great at giving a good time. I'm a comedic after all. Hmm. But well, don't worry about Yuta. You yours isn't too urgent. What? Why? So that uh, is it for introductions. <laughs> I want you to select one, Ariana. Select <laughs> Select a human being, please. <laughs> Who do you want to help, Ariana? I selected Okay, I need to say Okay. Okay. So that's the prologue. Um wait, did we I think I think we read through all of them in the first episodes, right? So I'm gonna do that too. Um yeah, let's start in the order that we met them, I guess. Uh, first, the character um, characters, how they're related. So we have, um, I don't know, Yuta. Sorry. Um, he has lucky earlobes, apparently. Um, he's envious of Yamato, but uh, Takamasa, whoever that is. Thinks he's hilarious. Wait, Takamasa. Oh, is it the is it the perverted guy? And Yamato and Takamasa have a rivalry. Interesting. Uh, who is Kyoichi? Whatever. Um, they all have respect for Konohiko. Interesting. Ren is clinging to Takao. Okay. And Yamato and Takao trust each other. Hmm. Wait. So Takamasa. Right. Let me check out things in Takamai, okay. Who's Takao again? You are Takao, okay. So Yamato and Takao are good friends. I can see that. I can I can definitely see that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean I'm kind of like between Takao and Yamato, but let's see what the text says. Oh yeah, and setting, right? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, isn't there a setting button? Am I in the way of the setting? Hmm, okay. Okay. Okay, well then let's uh, see. Um, okay, Yamato Kugami, name, occupation teacher in physical science. Oh, interesting. Uh, whatever the things that married couples do, you should know. High school teacher, nasty. Um, you gotta be able to self indulge in bullheadedness. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but there's something about him that will make you smile through it. I mean, yeah, so far, yes. Um, he's a real sweetie, especially to his wife. But uh, that's right, but there are also times when he sinks into loneliness. Oh, which he only reveals to his wife. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's Okay, I think the next guy we met was him, Ren Shibazaki. It's only a secret, only for you. It's a secret, only for you and me. The prince from a foreign land. Mysterious. Um, he's a researcher, as we already know. If you marry Ren, he's a man with little words, and it takes a while for him to warm up to you. It's like living with a cat. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Um, when you least expect it, least expect it, he whispers in your ears. Okay, it's really cute. It's a really good side of him. Mm, okay, although he's always so cute. So, Queen, 
you should you shouldn't let down your guard. He's a little he's quite a perfect. Okay, whatever. Uh, you mean Ren is this kind uh, is this kind of person? I didn't know that. <laughs> More too splashy. Okay, the next guy was Yuta. Yuta Kaji Oh, that's a nice picture. Don't be so late, please. Uh, he's a comedian. He's jealous. Oh, okay. You definitely have a good laugh with him, but then if you laugh too much, uh, your jaw is gonna hurt, I'm sure. <laughs> I think only Saiki is able to stand his jokes, but then I bet you won't get tired of being with him every day. You can do this and with that, you can do this and that with him. How about trying it out at night too? Oh, okay. He's an inquisitive person. Wait, that's not what you meant? Hmm, okay. The next one was Taco, I think. Taco and Mario uh, Yama. He's a lawyer. And awkward. He's awkward. I mean, he's strict, right? He plays by the rules. Uh, happiness would definitely come your way. Uh, to put it simply, no one ever disliked him. Uh, a possessive lover. Okay, so he's also a bit possessive. Especially at the beginning of the relationship. He looks pretty harmless, but once he sets his sight on something, he'll never let it go. I like that. Don't be fooled by his timid and delicate look. He's pretty dangerous. Don't get close to him. What? Okay, who was next? I think it was you. You seem the dangerous one. You think you can get away from me? Scriptwriter, sadistic. Oh no. No, 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 no. He delivers a, he derives a huge amount of pleasure from watching girls suffer. Nope, I'm out. Beware, uh, you will never know what he's thinking about you. He works too hard out there and really wishes to seek comfort in his own home. He acts cool on the outside, but he's really sensitive on the inside. Probably, but I don't want to deal with the sadistic stuff. And that's it, right? I think that's it. Okay, so I, ge I, I guess I like, I like these three. And we'll see which one I pick um, next episode. Um, so, see you then. Bye!